Welcome Southport Hurricanes. I'm so happy to be able to congratulate you today and celebrate your accomplishments as you enter this next exciting phase of your educational journey into high school. I know that we all share disappointment that we can't be together in person to celebrate, but it goes without saying that some things in life are just beyond our control. And what matters most right now is the safety and well-being of our students, families, faculty, and staff. The eighth grade promotion ceremony is typically one of my favorite events of the school year. As I stand up at the podium, I usually look out into the sea of eighth grade faces and I stand in wonder at how much my students have grown and matured since they entered this campus their sixth grade year. Well, it was no different this year. As I sat and entered each individual picture into this presentation, I still felt that feeling of pride and wonder thinking of how special and unique each of you are and how you've all played a part in shaping the personality and culture of Southport Middle School throughout your time spent here. This COVID pandemic is unlike anything that we've experienced and it's obviously been quite challenging for each and every one of us. However, I truly believe that some of life's greatest challenges often result in equally great blessings if we take the opportunity to reflect and focus on the lessons that we can learn from these challenges and I've found that there are many. To begin with, over the course of your time here at Southport, we've spent a great deal of time learning about what it means to have a growth mindset. As you know, growth mindset is a theory centered around the belief that intelligence and learning can be developed and improved. Individuals who possess a growth mindset are said to rise to challenges and learn from the mistakes they make rather than feeling distressed and defeated if they're unable to do or understand something. I can say without hesitation that most of you have displayed a growth mindset in the midst of this unexpected shift to distance learning. Although many aspects of it have been new and difficult, the majority of our students have dug deep to learn the new technology platforms and have put in great effort to continue learning and to complete the requirements for the eighth grade courses. That's something to be very proud of. And I know that if you face the challenges of the future with that same level of perseverance, there's little that you will not achieve. So as you enter the summer months and begin planning for your freshman year of high school, I asked you to spend some time thinking, not about the beginning of high school, but more about the end. That moment in 2024, when you walk across the stage of the Fence Center to receive your high school diploma. What kind of person do you wanna be when your four years are over? What kind of experiences do you wanna have had? How would you like to be described at your high school graduation? Maybe successful, creative, thoughtful, driven, persevering, fair. Do you want to have been on a sports team, in a club, or in a drama show? Once you know where you want to end up, it's much easier to focus on how to get there. So write down your goals for high school and then map out your journey. And with the support of your friends and family and teachers, but mostly powered by your own strong will, determination, and mindset, you will be sure to get there. Now, secondly, and of equal, if not greater importance, are the lessons that we learn about ourselves and who we are when we're faced with difficult times like this. I've tried over the years to impress upon you the importance of developing our strength of character, as that's the way that we're certain to make an impact on this world for the better. That being said, throughout these past two months, I've witnessed students reaching out to connect with their teachers and their classmates, sending inspirational pictures and quotes, as well as messages of gratitude during Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. This brings joy to my heart to witness these acts of kindness, and I feel hopeful that in the face of adversity, our students and staff have joined together to lift one another up. My hope is that you always remember that, no matter what's going on in our lives and in this world, we can make this world a better place by continuing to care for those around us and by showing kindness and empathy to the people in our family and in our community. So once again, as you journey into high school, I ask you to focus on becoming the very best person that you can be. Remember that kindness is one of the most critical characteristics to cultivate and develop in yourself. As human beings, you must learn to love and respect the people in your family, in your school, and in the community around you, whether they're different or the same as you. Know that your smile, a simple greeting, and kind words can make or break someone. In fact, there's an Italian proverb that says, a candle loses nothing by lighting another. I urge you to remember that and always try to be that light, 
be a positive force and change the world around you for the better. Lastly, I hope that as you leave here, no matter which high school you attend, whether you become a Port St. Lucie Jaguar, a St. Lucie West Centennial Eagle, a Fort Pierce Cobra, a West Prep Panther, or a Treasure Coast Titan, I hope you remember that once a hurricane, always a hurricane. You're special to us. You are loved and cared for, and we want you to know that we will be here rooting you on and supporting you forever. We hope that you stay connected here and come back to visit or volunteer, and we look forward to hearing about all of the wonderful accomplishments that you're sure to achieve in the future. Congratulations to each and every one of you. And now, before we begin commencement for our eighth grade class, I would like to invite Mrs. Alvarez and Mrs. Bernard, who will help us recognize the following students who have earned the Presidential Education Award. Congratulations on your achievement as a 2020 President's Education Awards program recipient. Since 1983, this program has congratulated millions of elementary, middle, and high school graduates for their educational achievement. This award is a special recognition of your determination to make the most of your abilities and your potential. Recipients excel in their studies, often overcoming obstacles to their learning. I applaud you for your dedication to your lifelong learning journey. The president and I are pleased to join your family and communities to celebrate you and your success. Best wishes for a future filled with great success. Signed, Betsy DeVos. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 President's Education Award. Over the past year, the individuals who have earned this distinguished honor has exhibited exceptional work ethic and determination. Our nation will soon look to these future leaders for guidance, and I am confident they will continue to build a stronger and more prosperous future for our great country. The First Lady joins me in applauding the educators, administrators, parents, and other community leaders who have been there every step of the way to encourage and uplift these bright young men and women. As these talented students pursue their dreams and passion, we send our best wishes for continued success, keep up the great work. Sign President Donald Trump. At this time, we would like to recognize students who have earned special recognitions. And now we will begin our commencement ceremony. Congratulations to each member of our eighth grade class for having met the requirements for promotion to high school. We're very proud of you.
Congratulations, class of 2024. I first want to tell you how proud I am of all your hard work and effort. This has not been an easy year. I mean, doesn't everyone have a Category 5 hurricane and a global pandemic when they finish 8th grade? In all of this, you have shown strength, perseverance, and finished strong. When you think back to this day, you'll realize it is only one of the many proud, successful moments in your life. I promise you, there will be many more. Remember, as Ms. Talese mentioned, this is a journey. Think to your future and set your goals. When you set our goals, we also need to decide what path we're gonna to take to achieve them. I want you to time travel to May, 2024. What will you be thinking about? I hope you ask yourselves, did I achieve my goals? On my path to achieve them, did I treat people kindly and with respect? Did I do my best? Did I make my family and friends proud? Did I make myself proud? These are questions that can be answered by you, the future senior in high school, getting ready to set more goals as you move into adulthood. Don't forget to always check on those goals and make sure you're on the path that makes you proud. I can't wait to hear about all of the goals that you achieve in your life, be them big or small. They're yours, and I couldn't be more proud. I'll leave you with a quote from one of my favorite places. If you dream it, you can do it. Congratulations today and best wishes for all your tomorrows.